it's only Dr. Hans beer mail. Yep, that's right. Um, two weeks ago, guys, I got parcels through from my Johnny, Dr. Hans. I already knew about this because he previously messaged me and there were two ales in there. One was his lemon meringue pie and this other one, ginger bells, which was his Christmas um, his Christmas ale, basically. And he, I think he entered it into a, a comp local competition over where he lives. Um, but he, there's a video on that, so do go and check his channel out. I'll put a link down to the channel below of this brood, actually. Might as well do that so you can watch that because it, it's a really good, thorough, detailed brew video. Basically, it really is. Harry does this, Harry does it. Um, you know, it's pretty simple. Um, grain bill it was, and then he added the <coughs> sorry, added the chocolate malt. I think the last twenty minutes, he did the old top mashing. What he does, way of doing the mash out basically to get a dark colour like that. Um, and then he fermented it out in his fermentosaurus we actually carbs up slightly you know as he put the water in there and for a couple of days and it as the pressure rises basically it's tough like so do go and watch it out guys um, really good video so I previously had his lemon round pie last weekend i did not do a video on it i kind of wish i did now but um that weekend i was working in my garden weeding you know trimming the hedges back stuff like that and i was bloody well thirsty so i grabbed that and i'm not gonna lie to you it was such a refreshing drink it really was um a luminous yellow in the glass to look at it was his take on the lemon round pie from you know what Adam and home homebrew he did one so it wasn't a clone but it was his take on it I think he swapped out a bit of the malts or less lemons he just knocked up as well basically <clears throat> but yeah it was very very nice but very like I say refreshing would have been perfect for a summertime drink it really would very tartness on the lemons like a sherbet that's what it was Good work though, Johnny. So thank you for that, my friend. Um, but I'm going to leave a review on this one for you now. So, guys, I've got my new goblet. Don't know what's going off with the lighting. <coughs> my new hobgoblin goblet, as you can see. Most of you guys know I'm a big fan of hobgoblin ales. Um, and the Witchwood Brewery, after their ales, sorry. And the whole goblin drink and what have you. So as soon as I saw this, I had to invest in it. Um, it's on my go-to glass now. So to christen it, let's get Dr. Hans's brew in here. Right, here we go then, guys. I don't know why there's a little fancy ribbon around it. Maybe if you think I'm special, I'm not too sure. <laughs> anyway, ginger bells, Christmas ale, 5.7%. Look at the artwork on that. It is bloody lovely, isn't it? Little pop! Oh, oh, oi, oi, oi. Right. I did off a little bit. Enough too much. That will fill right up to the top, though. So you don't know. Kick it off there. There's nothing all in there. Whether that's fermented from the keg, I don't know. Fermented, bowl from the keg. So, what a lovely colour. It's just like a lovely ruby ale, isn't it, to be fair? A colour was fitting for this goblet. On the nose, big, big ginger punch, really is. I'm not getting past too much ginger there. Maybe a little bit of sweetness. Oh, smells delightful, it really does. Johnny, Dr. Hans, I'm going in. Thank you, pal. Wow. Absolutely wow. Um, these um, ales, you know, with that, the more spice in them, and that little bit of chocolate malt, these are like my style ales. I love to have these over winter time. Um, autumnal. 
Dark Rails, I love most of you know that. But when they're laced with some spicing, you really, really want to throw a winner. Pick up the ginger so, so well. Um, cinnamon. There's some cinnamon there. Um, I can't remember what you put in with his sparse additions. I think he had a little bit of cloves in there as well. And something else I did not know or, or I didn't hadn't heard of before, basically. Um, you know what, though? It is very nice. I don't think it's... Oh, I'm not really getting a 5.7. I think, it's, to me, I, is it, I feel like it's a bit lower, but then again, I'm getting the heat. Well, that could be from the ginger. Bloody lovely. Absolutely lovely, it really is. Um, that's making me want to knock up with some an ale now with ginger in it, it really is. This it's so it really, I think to me I think it really works in a beer. You know, um you have to check the video out guys. Like I say, it's about twenty five minutes long, but it's worth the watch, it really is. Like I'll put it down below, but I'll put a link to the video as well of his lemon meringue pie as well, because that's a good watch, it really is. Um, that was another one I really enjoyed. This blows it out, this blows it away though for me, because because this, this is just my palate, this is my taste, I guess. Um, I can really see and quaff quite a few of these back, I really could. Um, I've already sent your beer mail off to you, Dr. Hans, um, so you should be receiving that. I would have thought, start of next week. It's in the distribution now. It's, well, it's not here. So, it's in the part line somewhere. So, I think you have about three to five working days, it says. So, do look out for that. Um, you're not forced to give me no beer reviews. Just enjoy what I sent to you, my mate. But that is a winner. Thank you so, so much. Um, like I say, guys, I will put the link down below to both of the videos from what he sent me. I'm sure you'll subscribe to him because his channel has just gone crazy these last few months. This last back end of the year. He's done really well. And I've met him. I can say I've met him down at London's Craft Beer Festival last year. And I can't wait to meet up with him again. Cheers, fella. Great work.